So now let's take a look at the challenges and solutions we have for implementing additive manufacturing in tooling application. Uh, the common challenges we have right now would be uh, how to design the mold, especially how to design the conformant cooling channel. Uh, how's the insert strength that you were looking for? The printing quality, any residue, uh, residue stresses within the mold itself, uh, any post processing needed, uh, especially like polishing, uh, what are the printing costs, the chiller selection for the cooling liquid, uh, on site monitoring and etc. So now I would like to share one example that we uh, work closely with the customer to provide the solution in their tooling design. So this is basically the part information. It is a pretty common hot sprue that used for uh, injection uh, molding. So in this part, we can identify uh, the cooling down the gate to prevent dragging is the main function of the part. And the red circle is actually the critical area, while the rest of the area are considered not critical. This is why we suggest to the customer to design the conformant cooling only on the critical area and remove the unnecessary cooling channels. Further from the solution, uh, when we look at the design, we can see that actually uh, largely area of the part, it is uh, not uh, geometrical complex and it can be uh, produced uh, easily by conventional way so that uh, we suggest the customer to build the part in a hybrid strategy. And in later part, EOH will share with us how they produce uh, such a tool by using the hybrid strategy. So in this case, we only produce the top of the insert inside our EOS printer. Initially, the customer designed the cross section to be a rectangle shape and uh, based on the uh, additive manufacturing design rule, uh, such a structure requires support structure to build and uh, they are impossible to be removed after the building. And this is why we suggest the customer to change the rectangle cross section to either circle, over or teardrop shape. And also we discovered that customer actually designed a different cross section across the whole cooling channels. Uh, we suggest the customer to stick to just one cross section because it will provide a more consistent cooling effect. And also we suggest the customer to reduce the distance uh, between the insert pin and the cooling channel because based on our experience, uh, three mm distance is enough. And from the simulation result uh, of the standard software, we are able to identify the distance is good enough. And this is the final design that uh, we work together with the customer uh, to give a solution for their mold design. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumb up. And if you'd like to have further information about educational content or other webinars from EOS, just click the links in the description box below. We hope to see you soon in one of our next videos. Until then, go and subscribe our channel. Bye!